The monster among men is here. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. The earth is trembling with each step. Here's a man who won the greatest Royal Rumble in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. He beat the bar at WrestleMania while teaming with a 10-year-old kid, and he won the Money in the Bank contract. Yeah, you start to feel like there's nothing Braun Strowman can't do. Well, there is one thing we know for a fact Braun Strowman can't do, and that is be stopped. The monster among men is unbelievable. The Lone Wolf about to prey on Monday Night Raw. There's two things I've come to learn about Baron Corbin. He doesn't like people, and he loves to cause chaos. Some of the best observations you've ever made, Byron Saxton. Thanks, Corey. And his opponent, from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin is a former Golden Gloves boxing champion. If the Lone Wolf connects with the right hand, you can forget about it. Yeah, lights out in short order. Beautiful technique. Oh, my. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high rent district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October of 1983, Jimmy Superfly Snuka. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. You oh. mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. You look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho, they continued to push the envelope and executed unbelievable attacks from the top of the cage. And watch Rikishi take flight off the top of the steel cage. Wow. There are two things to remember about Baron. Oh, look at the completely dominating. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, man, Baron Corbin is in trouble now. The end of days is such an impressive finishing maneuver and delivers incredible impact. End of Days leaves its victims out cold on the canvas for a long, long time. The End of Days from Baron Corbin is just another way for the Lone Wolf to show his disdain for fellow WWE superstars. Corbin won't stop until there is no one left. His shoulders are down. Braun Strowman kicks out easily. Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on the mat. Kick to the... Braun Strowman fans with some reason to worry about here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. You hate to think this way, but part of me thinks he might be over his head inside that steel cage. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. You got him! the impact.
There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. Things are looking dire for Baron Corbin. Something's got to change quick. Tonight may not be his night, guys. We spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation. Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. He knows he's in trouble. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Baron Corbin can't be enjoying this. Braun Strowman can't be enjoying this. Wow, Braun Strowman is being controlled. Baron Corbin doesn't care about the WWE rulebook, the officials, or how the WWE... He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Ooh, what impact. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. This might be the end of Corbin. I don't know if Corbin can recover. I hate to agree with you, but you're right. Byron, you made a great point earlier about Baron Corbin, and, well, he's all about Baron Corbin. Remember, this is a man who was thrown out of the NFL after a serious altercation during a team practice. Braun Strowman is getting ready here. <laughs> this might be the end of Corbin. Needless to say, Brian, when it comes to Braun Strowman, you're simply not going to overpower him. With that in mind, though, what should the approach be when facing the monster among men? Uh, Braun Strowman wins. Braun Strowman wins.